Evet efendim kabus içinde kabus yaşıyoruz. Bakalım ne olacak? Neyin doğru neyin yanlış olduğuna karar veremiyoruz şu anda. Zaten adamın cesetinin ortadan kaybolması... Gariplikti yani. We need to go quickly. Put fire. I don't know. Tell them what happened, Poe. It's ghastly, really. Do they need to know? Yes, they do. İnsanlar sever böyle şeyleri. All right then. Good boy. <gülüyor> Monroe and I almost passed away last week from carbon monoxide poisoning. But we didn't. Yay. That much should be obvious. <gülüyor> Our central heating system became blocked and started backing up carbon monoxide into the building. Merkez ısıtma sistemi but lucky I got that detector, eh, Poe? Yes, indeed. But not so lucky for the Uzgun young Raven. What? I didn't want to tell you because it's not very nice. But since you asked... Edgar Allan Poe, Kuzgun, anladınız mı? Because a young Raven had become stuck in the flu. Gönderme no. var. What happened? From what the insurers could make out, it got stuck, and then its mate came after it. Both of them died together. That's so sad. Everything dies. Well, they are together now. Somewhere in distant Aden, but in our realm, they will be never more. Let's change the subject. How much money do we raise for the station? Actually, the insurance paid out quite a lot of money. It seems the installers had also been negligent by not including a protective barrier on the flu, so... So the Ravens died to save our show? Yes, you could say that. Or a bungled building job almost killed us. So, glass half full, I'd say. Agreed. Perhaps we shouldn't spend so much time in bed together, Poe. <laughs> Do you really mean that? Perhaps. Uh huh. Tip ki bak. Next time. E, o gördüklerinden sonra e, kadın soğudu hali ya kim görse yes, soğur yani gerçek olmasa bile. You said that Joe Watts had gone missing. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. So what are you saying? We work the case ourselves. You be good cop, and I'll be bad cop. Yes, I'd like to report a kidnapping, please. What are we supposed to do? I don't think it's between the dots. I just see the final picture. Dark Knights. With Poe and Monroe. Orada birisi var mı? Poe'nun telefonunu çaldırdın. Monroe'yu yataktan kaçırttın. Makyaj ruju seçtin. Göz kalemini seçtin. Kimi arayacaksın? Kıza dokunmayı seçtin. Oha millet dokunmuş hep. <gülüyor> Telefonu kullanmayı gel. Az kişi seçmiş. Kayıp olmayan kapı olmayan kapıdan kaçındın. Evet kaçındım. Kapıyla yüzleştim. 139 kaçış planı. Önce Poe'yu çözmeye çalıştın. Önce Monroe'yu çözmeye... <gülüyor> Millet Poe'yu geride bırakmaya çalışmışım. Dehliyeceği ilişki. Poe'nun... Poe'yu uyur halde bıraktın. Yüzde 44 kişi bırakmış. Millet de... Kaçmış adamdan ya. Bakalım bu gariplikleri çözebilecek miyiz? Bunun kaynağı nereden geliyor? Yani çok basit ama 
etkileyici bir sunum ile gerçekten güzel bir yapım ortaya çıkarmışlar. Çok başarılı olmuş. Gerçekten oyunculuklar harika olmuş. Dark Knights with Paul and Monroe. Call on line three. Is that a bad thing? I changed the number after Frankie. He's the only one that knows it. Frankie's dead. We imagined all that. What? So we take the call then? Açalım. Who is it? Hello? He will die if you let him. Frankie? The boy. The order you do things is important. I I've seen them all. Is this a prank? Frankie's dead. Who is this? Listen, just listen. She will lie to you. She will get away. She will kill the boy. You can't change that. What are we supposed to do? I don't have the lines between the dots. I just see the final picture. I don't like that, Poe. Me neither. And here's Yvette on line two. I love your show. Thanks, Yvette. I love your accent. What's your question? My question is, do you care about people? <laughs> That's a strange question. It's an AMA, Munro. Ask me anything literally means ask me anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But do we care about people? Yes, of course. Speak for yourself, Munro. I'm an animal lover myself. <gülüyor> so you don't care about people? No, I do care about people, just I care about animals. Aynen more. benim gibi, bu da aynı benim kafada. So you care about animals more than people? Present company excluded, of course. <gülüyor> so that's a yes and a no. Wait one moment, Yvette. So if I was crossing the road at the same time as a cute bunny, and you could only swerve and save one of us, you would choose the bunny? Yo, hani o kadar da şey değil yani. I'd save you, obviously. Well, that's reassuring. <gülüyor> I said I'd save you. And how long did you have to think about it? Ama sordu soru like çok saçma yani. Consider things. Onun kadının sordu soru çok psikopat yapıyor. Well, I wasn't timing it. Fine. Save me or cat. You. You said that quickly to get on my good books, didn't you? No, I'm not a big cat fan. <gülüyor> oh! What? Does that answer your question, Yvette? Yes, I think so. I do have another dilemma. Maybe we can help, Yvette. I'd rather not say on air. That's all right. Happy to help. It's about time for a short break anyway. Stay on the line, Yvette. We'll be back in five minutes to answer more of your AMA questions. Until then, here's something slightly more interesting instead. We're off. Yvette? I've got a hostage. Uh-huh. A hostage? He's a boy from August I. Why is he a hostage, Yvette? I had a crush <laughs> on him. But he turned out to be unpleasant. So you kidnapped him? No. I talked his thing. <laughs> Is he okay, Yvette? Not really. He has not woken up yet. But now that I've spoken to you, I'm probably uh -huh. just going to let him die. I like animals more than people anyway. Like Paul. <laughs> Yvette, I was joking with Monroe. Thank you for your help. Did you get the number? No, it's withheld. Böyle insanlar var ama gerçekten ha. Maybe she was joking. We should call the police böyle just in case. Tell them what you said. Yani. Psikolojik really? olarak böyle zayıf insanlar var I'm yani gerçek sure. hayatta. I know it's a sensible thing to do. But what if it isn't? How can it not be? If it is a prank, we'll be wasting police time. Ya gerçekten? If it isn't? The, the police will take action. Yani. This is the August police we're talking about here. 
That's two guys in DuPont drinking coffee and watching uh, YouTube. So, they're not busy then? But so they're useless. The kid will probably be dead by the time DuPont's finished his sandwich. I'm calling the police. Yani Fine. sonuçta biz yükümlülüğümüzü yapıyoruz. We still have to do something. Ne What do you suggest? Then? Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. Ah yes, I remember. Hmm. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and hadn't come back. Ee, What are the odds that Yvette has got Joe hostage? Almost as high as Yvette not being her actual name. I know the headmistress from the high school. Maybe we should talk to her. Or maybe the parents. They asked for the story <clears throat> to be run. Okay, let's meet the parents. Hadi bakalım. Dedektif olduk abi. Nereden nereye geldik? Kaçırılan çocuğun ailesi bu. Aynen. Is Joe still missing? Yeah, missing since yesterday. We thought it was a prank, but we had a caller on the radio, a girl. She said she was holding Joe hostage. Live on the radio? No, we were off air. Good. Have you told the police? Yes, of course. And what do they say? They're looking into it. Oh, this is bad. Calling the police? Yes, calling the police. Oh, I just got a call a few minutes ago. From a woman called Yvette? She asked for money. And she said if I told the police, she'd kill Joe. And now I'm so sorry, I had no idea. Mr. Watts, is there anything we can do? Write me a check for 50,000 pounds. That's a lot of money. Why did she tell you she'd kidnapped Joe? Maybe she's a fan of the show. But surely she knows you call the police. Then maybe it's a diversion. What for? Maybe Yvette's actually Joe's girlfriend. And they're pretending he's been kidnapped. So they can elope with the ransom money they've asked for. <laughs> Seems intricate. I'm just trying to be positive. Perhaps we could ask Mr. Watts some questions. What do you want to know? Can you tell us a bit about Joe? He's good. He is good. He did a marathon last month to raise money for Dorothy May. Dorothy May? Yeah, she's um, an 80-year-old with a acoustic neuroma. Oh, nice. He helped her with it. He mows the lawns for the old folks around here for free. Üzülürüm lan çocuğa bir şey olursa. He's really good. Any reason someone might want to hurt him? I've been thinking about this over and over again and I just can't think of anyone who would. Is this Joe? Yeah, that's Joe. Can we take this? I'd rather you didn't. That's the only one I've got. Sorry. Of course. Check on telephone the photograph and check it. Allahum ya. Do you think his dad killed him? You What? think Joe's dead? If Joe is dead, I bet his dad killed him. He's just upset. Why isn't he out looking for Joe himself? He's probably over the limit. He didn't seem that drunk. Functioning alcoholic. I tried that on for a while. Really? We haven't got time. Come on. Sorry, yes. Uh, what's next? I think we should meet the head teacher now. Where else is there to go? Yani şu anda elimizde başka bir alternatif seçenek yok. Are we breaking and entering? Did we break anything to get this far? No. All the doors were open. We could search the whole school. <laughs> Deserted schools are creepy. Agreed.
The register is for a Miss Clay, and Joseph Watts is one of her pupils. Where do you think Miss Clay resides? Who knows? Maybe she's staying at August Guest House. Sorry, it actually says here, August Guest House, room six. Oh. Well, you did very well, my love. Guest House it is then. Miss Gallagher owns it, doesn't she? I have no idea who that is. I'm gonna talk to Miss Gallagher. You find Miss Clay. Why don't I talk to Miss Gallagher, and you find Miss Clay? I don't trust you talking to other redheads. <laughs> How do we know Miss Clay isn't a redhead? Because she'd be called Miss Scarlet? Sound reasoning. Bu çıktı kızım. Hello. Bu yabancılarda da bir inanış var ya. From the radio. Yeah, from the radio. What brings you here, Miss Monroe? One of your guests, actually. Well, I'm happy to chat, but you will need to help me strip. Oh. Okay. Oğlum normal biri yok mu lan bu şeyde? Oğlum bu ne lan? Yes, of course. Ne oluyor arkadaş? We need to strip the bed. Yes. Sorry, that's. How I do it at home. What the hell do you mean? I'm assuming this is about Miss Clay. She is my only guest. Yes, the school teacher. One of her pupils has gone missing. Well, being held hostage, actually. Hostage. We had a caller on the radio. Someone calling themselves Yvette said that they'd taken this boy Joe Watts hostage. Watts. Oh, yes. The family's been in August for a long time. They manufacture and sell fireworks, of all things. I love fireworks. Ghastly things. <laughs> all that methyl in our drinking water. Makes my thyroid throb just thinking about it. They're fun though, right? If you're an unethical hedonist. <laughs> I will Google that when I get home. <laughs> Do. <laughs> So your guest, Miss Clay. School pays for her. She's very quiet. Doesn't watch television, which is odd. Goes out a lot at night. Any idea where? No. She usually seems happy when she gets back, though. And she smells... earthy. Earthy? As in muddy? <laughs> Not on my carpets. And only if she's laundering her sheets before I get to them. Earthy, though. Yes. Like the smell of fresh rain on grass. You must have a great sense of smell. Well, when you run a guest house, you develop all sorts of senses you didn't know you had. Smells earthy after a long night's out. Sounds weird, but it could be relevant. Particularly if Joe is being kept somewhere dirty yeah, or no, muddy. Tied. Beaten. Frightened. That's specific? <laughs> Too many uh, movies. <laughs> Is that all? For now. Thank you, Miss Gallagher. Not at all. And please do drop by again, especially if you need a room. If you think of anything that might help, Please give me a call at the radio station.
surely you want me to call the police if I notice anything? Uh... I'd rather you called us first, if that's okay. Do the I police know. know what's going on? They do. I just think that we have a better chance of finding Joe than they have. Very well, then. I shall do as I'm told. Thank you. I know we're going to find him. Well, I didn't get much out of Miss Clay. She said Joe was a litterbug. So she's an eco-warrior? Yes. I wish we could have recycled our meeting, actually. How was Miss Gallagher? Kind of dominant. I liked her. Maybe I shouldn't let you hang around <laughs> with other redheads. Maybe you shouldn't. Let's circle back to this later. Did she say anything useful at all about Joe? She said Joe's parents sold fireworks. Mm, I suppose that could be useful. Anything else? She said that Miss Clay goes out a lot at night and comes back smelling of earth. That's odd. Yeah, she has a great sense of smell. I'm sure it's a clue of Sherlockian proportions. <laughs> oh, we'll probably you sure them a good fan. Seems we're out of leads. I'm still up for visiting the headmistress again. We could drill Miss Gallagher some more. Give it up, Alice. I'm trying. The headmistress, then? Miss Gallagher? Denied. Let's see Dallas Umber. Wanna play good cop, bad cop? Um, um, we are man, to? Huh? Okay. You be good cop. And right, I'll thank be you. <laughs> You're going to rough her up? <laughs> no, just if you think she's not telling us everything, leave it to me and I'll get the goods. I'm not going to lie. I would. <laughs> she's coming. Okay, madam, yapabilirim diyorsun tamam. Bana uyar. Can I help you? Miss Umber. <laughs> I was hoping you could help us with the missing pupil. I told the police everything yesterday. We just had a caller this evening claiming they kidnapped a boy. Any idea where he might be? Missing. <laughs> so that's it? There's nothing else that you can tell us. That's it. Bu kadından bir şey çıkmaz abi. Hadi bakalım. You're lying, Dallas. Uh -huh. About what? The missing kid. Kids. Kids. It's not a secret, is it? We've had two other children disappear. Joe's the third. Do the police know? What? They know. The first girl was fostered, so although she went missing, it was... She's been abducted? No, just back on the street somewhere, anywhere. But not here. So... They're not even looking for her? No, I expect they are. But I'm just a head teacher. Of a school that loses children. I don't lose children. They don't go missing on my watch. It's when they're out there in the big, ugly underbelly of August. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Miss Amber. We didn't mean to accuse you. That's quite all right, Mr. Pope. I know you're just trying to find Joe. Here, go and visit Wes Marie. She's currently off school for a spot of R and R. Her head's a bit mushy, but she purports to know where the missing children are. Oh. Thank you, Miss Amber. Miss Munro? Sorry, Miss Amber. Thank you. Noted. Okay, you angel Gladia. Let's go see where's Marie then. Let's not rush this. I think it could be worth seeing Miss Clay, too. Okay, home James. Let's talk to Miss Clay. Anything you say, milady. I know, no. You can talk to the landlady while we're there. Divide and conquer. Should be interesting conversations. Mr. Pope, have you found Joe? I'm afraid not, but I do have a new lead. Does the name Wes Marie Bolton mean anything to you? Wes Marie? 
Yes. Lan yalan söylediğin Cinnara. nereden belli ya? She was a pupil at the school. Was. She's on extended leave. Mental health issues, I believe. Ruh sağlığı mı? I take it you've not been to see her yet. No, I thought I'd come and talk to you first. Well, there's not much I can tell you about her, I'm afraid. Any relationship between West Marie and Joe that you know of? No. Sorry. I'm actually um headed out soon. Why? Perhaps we can continue this chat tomorrow. Yes, of course. Um going anywhere nice? Just for a walk. Was West Marie one of your pupils? No, no, I never spoke to her. Sorry for wasting your time. <gülüyor> Oğlum bu kadın da psycho bir şey ha. Baksana. Where's Marie's family stayed at the guest house once? Talked about the missing. The missing? She didn't know any more than that. Miss Clay said she'd never spoken to her. A dead end. We've wasted time, Poe. We should have gone to West Marie first. Hindsight's always 20-20, Munro. There's no time for math, Poe. Let's go. Uh, agreed. West Marie, here we come. Sahip olduğunu öğrenmiş olduk. People don't normally want to hear what I have to say. Psycho demeyelim de ruh sağlığı problemi. Özür dilerim yani. Öyle demek istemedim. If I tell you what I think. Zor bunlar yani. Well, we don't want to get you in trouble. Just tell us what you can. Don't be silly, Paul. We're not going to tell anyone. You can tell us anything. It's okay. You can trust us. We're from the radio. It's Miss Clay. Ne? She ran this after school club green for life. I was in it. She made us make a list of those with the most environmental impact in our class. I did it. It was me. I made the list. Joe was third on it and the third person to go missing. What? You have to help and you need to. It's okay. We're gonna help. You just need to take a breath. She'll have him in the woods. At Hell Park. You have to hurry. She'll kill him if they do pay. What does she want with the money? If they pay, she donates the money to charity. What? It's gone too far. And what if they don't pay? I don't know. I love when I saw it. What did you see, Westmary? Miss Clay. She was turning him into trees. A what? dryad. A what now? A dryad. Someone who's part human, part tree. We need to go. How part? Yeah. Where's Marie? Where's Marie? You did good. We're gonna save Joe. You wait here and we'll be back. Expiso ballad, abi. Güzel. Acaba bu onları gördüğü için mi ruh sağlığını kaybetti? Joe! Joe! Joe! Joe! Çok güzel yapmışlar ya kurgu olayını. Beğendim Joe! valla. Oyunculuklar, e, kompozisyon çok güzel olmuş. Aha. We're too late, Alice. No. No. This is all our fault. Bizim niye suçumuz yavrum? Tamam önce. He he was murdered. We think Miss Clay had something to do with it. The vet. She's the one the police should be finding. Do you have her voice recorded? 
Yes, we record all incoming calls. Do the police have it? I already sent it over. I'm sure they're working on it. I guess I'd better go and identify Joe's body. What, whatever's left of him. August wolves pretty much eat anything. One time, there was a whole school bus of children and... Poe, I think you can save that story for another time. Of course. Sorry. We're sorry for your loss. We'll see ourselves out. Adamın tepkisi çok yapmacık olmuş ya. Bu <gülüyor> yapımda bir rol yapamayan adam bu yani. Did he know? I'm having a hard time with this whole Frankie thing. Where do you think Miss Clay is? No one can find her. Far away from August, I should imagine. I feel responsible. Don't. It's not like you made all the decisions that led to Joe's death. If they ever invent a time machine, I'm coming back and I'm saving Joe. Good luck with that. Maybe he was always doomed. That's gloomy. Fate and destiny, Monroe. It can't always be changed. We never found out who a vet was either. Some things will always remain a mystery, Monroe. What? Lan şizofren mi yoksa bu? Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. We have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. Monroe, are you ready to meet your past self? I was born ready. I'm Elizabeth. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? Dark Nights. With Pearl and Monroe. Öbür taraftan arıyorlar. Frankie ile konuştun. Evet. Frankie'nin aramasını sonlandırdın. Far görmüş tavşan. Tavşanı kurtardın. Monroe'yu kurtardın. Gücü kullan. Polisi aramayı seçtim. Vakayı tek başına çözmeyi seçtin. Veli toplantısı. Önce John'un ebeveynlerini ziyaret ettin. Önce John'un okulunu ziyaret ettin. Violet mi? Clay mi? Monroe ile Violet'i görmeyi seçtin. Po ile Bayan Clay'i görmeyi seçtin. İyi polis, kötü polis. Dallas'ı Monroe'yu sorgulattın. Dallas'ı Po'ya sorgulattın. Taraf tutmak. Westmail ile Po'nun ilgilenmesine izin verdin. Westmail ile Monroe'nun ilgilenmesine izin verdin. Ve bu bölüm de buraya kadardı dostlarım. Kaldığımız yerden devam edeceğiz. Görüşmek üzere, hoşçakalın.